important to us. Please hold for the next available streamer. Um, hi, uh, I'm, I'm here to talk to you about your vehicle's extended warranty. No, no, I'm not. Um, it's, uh, it's Wednesday, it's group therapy night. Um, I threw around a bunch of different things for topics this week, and I don't really have one. Um, so I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever. But, I did want to to do a couple of things so um viv's not here so i'll wait on the other thing oh you i'll get and we'll get there when we get there hello miss Allie beth um but yeah so <gasps> andrea's here hi andrea i love you um let's see what else I don't know. So I'm thinking about what was I gonna do? Okay. All right. So Lollipop actually had an idea last week, and I enjoy the spirit of the idea. Um, so it, basically, what it boils down to is this: there are nights like tonight. Where we don't necessarily have a topic for group therapy night. And it just descends into like chaos of like nothingness, which is fine and I absolutely love it. But what if we did something else while we do it, while we just bullshit around? So his original idea was Stream Raiders. And Stream Raiders is really fun. I just don't know that if it's a, it's a thing that I would want to dedicate the resources to that it deserves. Um, like, I love co-streaming with Alipup because she's all in on it and she's very dedicated to it and I think that works out well for her. I don't know that I would be able to dedicate to it the way that I would want to to make it be... to, I don't know, to be happy with the way I do it. So... Um, I thought about, what if we play something old? Now, I don't know if I'm going to do it. We'll see how things go throughout the night. But what if I played something old, like NES or Super NES era? And part of the reason I've been thinking about this is since Nintendo's E3 conference thing yesterday, their Nintendo Direct, they announced a new Metroid game, like an actual good new Metroid game and I'm really like I'm curious about going Dom back and playing some point. older stuff although you're right Dom does make a good point um, because 
there is a free trial of Final Fantasy XIV, the critically acclaimed MMORPG from Square Enix. Um, that actually that free trial goes up to Heavensborg. The wait the uh, the uh, the that's that's the award winning Heavensward expansion, right? That gets you up to uh-huh. level sixty. Uh huh. Huh. So all right, let's 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 get out of the let's get out of the the intro music. Let's let's put let's on. Get out of that. Yeah, let's get out of there. Cause like we're we're already we're we're already into to chaos as it is. Chaos chaos, chaos, chaos is here and it's then. great. Okay. Uh, what do we want? But, but. Button. Nothing. Fair enough. Okay. Um. I don't know. No. No, I don't like it already. I'm changing it. Um. So randomizers. I don't know, because I've never been once... Like, a lot of people who play randomizers also play to speedrun. And I am i don't like to go fast through stuff. Um, I like to take my time and just kind of chill. So, you don't have to speedrun, but if you know how to speedrun, you know how to do randomizers better. It's kind of... That and... Um... A lot of times randomizers end up just being like one giant puzzle to solve and i feel like something that would require that much thought or brain power or discussion to, while we were working on it would deter from the fact that the whole idea like that's why i originally suggested stream readers was that that's something that's designed to you mess with it every half an hour and you do shit in the meantime yeah yeah so it that's kind of the point is that whatever whatever the decision is to try and do it was it was just mainly a this is a thing that you do as kind of a background activity to the fact that we are supposed to be talking and being a group doing therapy stuff right right yeah my my two cents had been stardew but that may or may not be up your alley either like that's my go-to like do nothing game i love stardew um i i love stardew very much um and of course, I've got it on the Xbox, and um, I've got a farm that I did like forever ago. Um, Ali Pop's claimed Xbox with Game Pass. Yes, that the Game Pass. Oh, by the way, by the way. Um, so, for those of you who watch the stream regularly, you know that I've I haven't shut up about my follower goal, which. And also, um, you know that I usually have the goal bar up at the top. But if you look above me, you'll notice that the goal bar looks a little different than it has. I did see that. Yeah, it's a little I different. I like it. It's it's a little it's a lot more low profile um, and very it's very clean. <laughs> Love Duloc, first of all, very clean. Um, I spent some time yesterday and today. Uh, taking all of my um, overlays from Stream Labs and moving and converting everything over to Stream Elements, which I did it all manually because when it comes to either design or code, uh, I'm a um, I'm I'm kind of a like a control freak. So fresh and so you, clean, clean. You a control freak about your own things? Never. I was supposed to be doing hot girl shit, Allie, but like I was waiting for Vivian because Vivian was supposed to be here for me to do hot girl shit, but I, he's nowhere to be found. So now we're just going to have to do the hot girl shit without him. Um, I'm so disappointed. I, I miss him. Sometimes I can still hear his little voice. Wait, no, he's not actually Fine. here. We can just we can just tell stories to him about it, and that we believe we call that a tease. Mm. We'll catch it on the vod. Eh, something tells me. Something tells me we'll 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 see him before the night's over. Uh, anyway, so um, I guess it is hot girl shit season, isn't it? Um, isn't every season hot girl shit season? If you do it right, it is. 
so, yeah, I, I've been thinking about just going back and playing older games. Maybe just to have, like, something in the background while we just bullshit on nights that we don't have a topic necessarily. And I think it would give me a chance to just, like, randomly play shit while still um, adhering to a schedule. Ooh, that reminds me, Dom. Okay, so, first of all, for anybody who isn't here often or is new, this is the Crazen Box. It's got my name on it, thanks to the Miss, the, the wonderful Miss Allie Beth. She made me a Crazen Box, because I want a Crazen Box. And as you can see, it is full of Crazens. So many Crazens in here. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This bad boy can fit so many Crazens. Um, so, I think I'm going to do... I'm just going to do an OG tonight. Um, so, I know we've been joking around for a while... For me about me doing like some kind of sponsorship or something with ocean spray i emailed them yeah when was it was it technically today. yesterday oh, i thought craisins was today because i complimented you on your corporate speak and you argued with me it was today it was technically today because it was is it was at 12 35 a.m so that's technically today um but there there we go Here's my my Ocean Spray Crazins original flavor. So if anybody at Ocean Spray is watching, hi. Um, I hope you I hope you like my my Crazin box. I got it I got it made special. Um, so yeah, I emailed them about maybe doing some kind of a partnership because you never know. Um, and then I also emailed Microsoft at the beginning of the week after all the fun E3 stuff went down, and I talked to them about doing something as well. So, fingers crossed that good things come of that. Um, I really want, like I would love to do that. Like, not to be real. The Crazen Box has my name in the Ocean Spray logo style. I'm eating actual Ocean Spray brand Crazens. I have my Ocean Spray Cranberry Sauce. Like, come on, y'all. Let's be real. Oh, good. You restocked the Cranberry Sauce. I was yeah. worried. I always have the Cranberry Sauce in stock. Come on now. What kind of amateur do you take me for? Oh. I didn't say you were amateur. Well, that's a fair point. There's something kind of like... I told it's you, Viv. I told you I would. So, anyway, um, I'll probably take it off in a few minutes, though. So. Um, but, so yeah, so hopefully Ocean Spray will get back to me. Very hopefully Microsoft will get back to me, the Xbox marketing team. I'm, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, you know. I mean, what's the worst they're going to say? No. Which I'll, you know, I'll be sad, but I tried. And I don't know that I've ever seen a, a streamer sponsored by Ocean Spray. I don't think I've ever seen that. Have you that. messaged the prices, right? So. For Golden Girls? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing about the Golden Girls. Because, yes. Um, I would like, yes, absolutely. Like if that's not, if that's doesn't fit my brand, I don't know what does. And that would be doing golden girl stuff. Um, that would be like, that would, that would be hot girl shit technically. Um, but I think Disney still owns the distribution rights to it. Oh, yeah, you're getting nowhere with Disney. Disney will shut you down. Yeah. Like, you're better off not getting Disney's attention. Here's the thing. When the Golden Girls first aired, it aired on NBC. Then, after the Golden Girls was, like, after it ended its run, when it got canceled, um, it 
a, there was a spinoff that started that was like starred three of the four of them called the Golden Palace. It did not last very long. Um, but that was on, I believe that was on ABC at the time. Maybe it was CBS. Maybe Golden Palace was CBS. Regardless, now Buena Vista Distribution owns the rights, the distribution rights to the Golden Girls. So when you watch it on Hulu, as I do every night, before the show, there's always the big ABC thing, even though it wasn't an ABC show. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's true, Andrea. That's that's actually a true story. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't know that that would have happened because... No, like I would, I would, I would send that email to someone at Disney and it would, it would immediately get deleted or sent back as pissant bullshit, probably. No, worse, your stream would be flagged. And then when they heard you play like some noise with your stream deck or something, they'd try and shut you down. Yeah, I'm too, I'm Disney. too piddly shit. No, no, I'm too piddly shit for Disney to do something like that to me. Nintendo, on the other that? hand, Nintendo. You say that, but I've seen Disney shut down small businesses. Well, so <laughs> Disney is just as bad as Nintendo. Hmm. Nintendo is worse to the streamers, but Disney is horrendous about small businesses doing anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm not making it through their filters. Absolutely not. There's no way. That's fair. And yeah, the the spinoff did have quality episodes, but. You know. Well. Yeah. Yeah, when you use Disney stuff, you have to, there's a fine line you have to walk. Like, you can get away with certain things if you stay, like, right on the one side of the line. But the minute you go over, sirens go off. It's ridiculous. Mickey, Mickey grabs a keyblade and starts kicking the shit out of you. You do get hooked. You absolutely do. So anyway, um, so I was thinking about like doing some kind of like, I don't know, like retro gaming, because like there's always like Super Metroid or even Metroid Fusion, because I could play Metroid Fusion leading up to the release of. Metroid Dread in October. Um, I could play... There was a Sailor... There was a really good Sailor Moon RPG that got translated, like fan translated later. Um, called Sailor Moon Another Story for the Super Nintendo. Um, that has like... Like your typical turn-based RPG vibes. Like... It's it's basically a Final Fantasy game, but it's all Sailor Moon. Um, so that would be good. And it's got a really good story too. Oh, the music is really good. Oh, that reminds me. It me. would be anything that you could like autopilot on. Yeah, then that's 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 kind of the thing. Is I would need something like that. That reminds me. Uh, okay. So. For those of you who don't follow me on Twitter, um, you're missing all of the quality shit posts. Okay, so if you want to see some shit posts, that's where you get the shit posts. What I have your Discord for? That's not shit posting. That's good posting. Okay, random is shit posting. That's critters chat. Critters I, went the I, fuck I, off today, and I was about it. Oh my god, there was such good stuff in there. Wedge and all the. The sweet Wedgenal. Oh, excuse me, the very goodest boy. He just... Ooh. Ooh, it's raining. Is it raining over there by y'all? It, was, uh, raining it was raining earlier. Ooh, fancy. Not, I'm not sure if you're getting what we got or if you're getting something different. Okay, so let's, let's, let's talk about something for a minute because... Alright, so I was, I, was, I was Sailor Moon fan back in like the... 
the like late nineties. Okay. When it was, when it was big here in the States, um, when it first got big here in the States and I'm yeah, that's just, that's it. That's it. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the whole thing. Anyway. So somehow today in my Twitter feed, I saw that the Netflix geeked account, which apparently like, like Netflix has like 25 different Twitter accounts for like different genres and shit. But the Netflix geeked account posted that this is a super sailor moon stan account. And they posted pictures of sailor moon. The problem becomes this is not super sailor moon. This is Eternal Sailor Moon. It's different. Whatever. Not the point. The point is what you'll see in the bottom right corner. Just above my head. It's like right there. Okay. Um, the first reply that I saw to this was the Xbox account. Who apparently... Photoshop together this and this this is not the crossover that I knew that I needed but is the crossover is the that crossover I, you I, I I have to have this like I really 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 fucking want this and like let's see do, do, do. This would have saved E3. Xbox's E3 was the best one. Get fucked. Okay, first of all, this. We absolutely need an Xbox Sailor Moon game. Okay. But second... Where is it? There it is. There's my shit post. This is not the crossover I expected, but the crossover that I need. And I need that. I need it in my life, folks. I need that just terribly. Now um, the question is, do you need that with the console? Or do you need that with the mini fridge? Okay. Um, I need both. Like, it, as, as Viv mini would like... fridge accessories? As Viv would like to say, por que no los dos? But yeah, like, what if I got decals to put on the mini fridge? That would be fantastic. But I do really want... I really want a Sailor Moon game. Because we haven't had one of those in so long. Like, it's... It's been so long. And I really want one. Um... And I want one here in the States. Like, I don't think we've ever gotten a Sailor Moon game officially released in the States in English. And I mean, I don't speak Japanese. I'm not that smart. I mean, I could do subtitles. You know, I watch, I watch, I watch the anime in subtitles. But like, I, I don't, I don't. Like, I. Slender I, does I, hot girl shit. Promptly talks about Sailor Moon for the ten minutes. <laughs> so hot girl shit is apparently Sailor Moon. It. I mean, is it not? I didn't say it wasn't. Is I just it not? Said that I am learning that it is. Listen. Okay. Hold on. Let's. I think, I mean, it is like, yeah, there we go. There we go. I mean, like, so, okay, let's, let's backtrack a little bit. So when I was younger and I was into Sailor Moon the first time, Here in the States, we got a lot of, of the original, like the first season. We got a lot of R. We got a decent amount of like broadcast of S. And then we got some Super S2. And of course, you know, as the series like sort of waned, you know, the stuff that was that was dubbed over last was the stuff that we saw the least of. Because the other stuff was being rerun all over the place. So... In the original run, my, my the first time around, Sailor Jupiter was hands down my favorite. Okay? Like, absolutely hands down my favorite. 
lately, I feel like more and more, my love of the series is being rekindled. Okay. And... <laughs> <laughs> Originally translated as hot girl shit and later as pretty soldier Sailor Moon. Nice. Um, so, as I get, as, as, now that I'm older and I'm not in high school anymore, my tastes have evolved. And we look toward, I, I look toward the outer senshi. And I say, I go through all of that to say that I think Sailor Pluto is my new favorite. I mean, she controls the flow of time for fuck's sake. If that's not like the ultimate power, I don't know what is. Plus, look at that hair. Plus, she's like seven feet tall. I mean, not actually, but kinda. That's what it is, really. It's listen. It can be. It can be all of it. Mm. You're just you're 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 satiating your Resident Evil needs in a in an anime. So she's not nine foot six. She's not nine foot six, but like, she's still tall. She is V tall. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna <laughs> say it matter, but like, listen. You said it, not me. And also, again, let's be clear. I don't want to be stepped on. That's just, that's just not my thing. Regardless, <gasps> hidden. We have descended into chaos. It, yeah, no, we have, we have hidden. It is. We, we've been live for for half an hour, and it has already just. We've already descended into chaos. I mean, this right Do you here. Hey, you hidden. This right here. This is Vivian's fault. Okay. He asked for this. He asked for this right here. This is all his fault. Um, so anyway. That's it. That's all I got. That's, that's, that's all the hot girl shit that I have for the moment. have the footloose dance in orc knife shop oh she's also a scorpio that explains a lot too hmm yeah <gasps> oh thank you hidden i love you i hope you have i hope you have a very like chill night at work just, just yeah. super chill and like relaxy and stuff. I want to have a super chill, relaxy night at work. Yeah, well, I don't want to have a night at work, first of all. But second, That's fair. but second of all, like, I just, man, today, today's today was. One fucking fuck of a Wednesday. Yeah, it was. A, it, yeah, it was. It was, it was one. A Thirteen foot Wednesday or something like that. Yes. Oh, Pluto is only five foot ten. Still though, she's she's the she's the tallest of all of them. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yes. Okay. <gasps> Hi, Miss Ayla. How are you? How's it going? As you can see, we're doing hot girl shit tonight, which so far has consisted of me talking about Sailor Moon. That's that's it. That's that's what I got. I mean, we're therapizing I uh, Zach's uh, relationship with the Sailor Moon series. Also, yes. Also, yes. Um, that's it. That's what I got. So, 
Still haven't heard anything suggesting that uh, Sailor Moon isn't hot girl shit, though. I mean, I think, honestly, like... Oh, we did talk about Ocean Spray sponsorships. That's true. That's true. You're right. Um, yeah. Which maybe that's also hot girl shit. I don't know. I mean, hard same, Ayla. Hard same. Uh, who is this? Oh. Who dat? That's the that's the 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 guy on the skateboard that was drinking the the cran apple juice on with like like people who put like Fleetwood Max dreams over top of it and That reminds me. I got to see where my stuff is. I have stuff coming in from my shop. Also, I need to go look at your shop, Ayla. I've been I've been so busy with other stuff. I haven't I haven't looked. I'm sorry. I need to go look though. How dare. I know. How very I know, dare. I know. I know. Oh my god, I can like the rains it's coming down pretty good out there. It's nice. Yeah, but are they blessed like the rains down in Africa? Oh my god. Get out. Just just You're fired. Out. Out. Just He doesn't get out. I've tried. Just get out. He stays and he's too cute to actually send <sighs> out. But my puns are great. Get Ding. out. Grating. Mm. At least I'm not singing the duck song. You will waddle away. Okay. Uh, Alo, uh, if you don't... Oh, that's true. Lilo Dallas Multipass. Um, what... Lilo Dallas Multipass. Uh, what, how much, if you don't mind me asking, how much do you pay for your Shopify shop? Because, like, I've thought about doing something like that with, like, fulfillment stuff in there. Because, obviously, you know, I don't have the stuff to, to make all of my merch. You're you're actually making all of this cool stuff. Okay, by the okay. You know what, let's just... If you're, if, if you don't know about Ayla's, like, amazing stuff that she's been making... With her Glowforge that she got, and like twenty nine a month isn't bad. I might have to do that. But like, look at this stuff. Look at the little fox with its big bushy tail, and then the hummingbirds, and the lotus blossoms. Like these are these are these are amazing. Oh, don't hang up on them, Dom. Like these are these are gorgeous. These Some are, them are more important, Dom. I probably just want to talk about his extended warranty anyway on his car. That's true. That's true. Look at the little axolotl. Look at it. It's so cute with its little with its little face and its big eyes and its gills. Oh my god. Like it's so so cute. So so cute. If you're if you're not, you you need to. Y'all need to go get on get in on this shit. This is just such good stuff. Okay, all right, that's enough. Well, let's get back. Let's get back to, like, let's get back to nonsensical bullshit. I don't know what else there is. Um. Okay, so... I bought stuff off your shop. You did buy stuff off of my shop. You sure did. You bought masks. Your masks shipped today. Um, let's see. Miss Alleypup bought some stuff. It's being... It, it was... It's it's being printed right now. Uh, let's see. I bought some stuff and it, it shipped yesterday, I think. Where is it? Also, I mean, it'll it'll be back. It'll be there when she gets back. So, 
Um, our lovely friend Tab Twice, um, she is taking a few days off because her sister just had a baby. So she's going to be in Texas for the next week and a half, seeing her sister and the new baby. And I put something in the shop that I didn't tell her about. But I I shipped it to I I got one and I shipped it to her so that it'll be in her it'll be in her PO box when she gets home from Texas. But I got her a Captain Hopper's trucker hat because it's a trucker hat, and she mm. she loves her trucker hats and so she loves all the Captain Hopper shit. So like I I had to get her one. Um, she said she's going to get a tie-dye shirt, which I'm sure she will get once her, once she, you know, all of her family stuff, like, starts to to settle down and she's able to get home and, and you know, get back into stuff. But, like, like, Captain Hoppers. Captain fucking Hoppers. Like my hat. That's my hat. That is such a good hat. Thanks. I like, I like the hat. Ah, so yeah. So, you know, if you want merch, there's merch. It's merch and stuff. Every time, uh, there's a group chat on, that I have on Discord that is me, Tom, and Cracko. And every time I get an alert for that group chat, I am frightened. For good reason. If any of you... Because someone's choosing violence. Both of them were born choosing violence. I basically never post anything. I just consume and kind of watch the mayhem as it unfolds. But these are the things that neither one of them would dare post in either my random or Moe's memes channel in her Discord. Violence? Oh, I say violence and suddenly Viv's, Viv's like, who said violence? He got all excited for the violence. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, sir. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Holy shit! You wait, wait, hold on, what are you doing here? Isn't it wrestling night? Also, thanks, buddy. I love you. Um, but hey, the new alert worked, so like, it was here. There was an Ice Bear and everything. It was nice. I'm I'm happy that uh <laughs> violence s'mores. What was it? What was it? What are you talking about? Oh wait, the NBA playoffs, huh? See, I don't keep. I haven't kept up with professional sports in ages. I don't. I don't even know what day it is. I have no clue. Not Friday, and that is the depressingly sad part about it. It really, really is. Um, I <laughs> Feb today. <laughs> you said turd. Um, let's see. Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, June sixteenth, twenty twenty one. The time is now eight twelve p.m. Eastern time. Hmm. Oh, also, um. Now, Ayla knows this, but for those of you who are who who don't spend a whole lot of time in the Discord, if you go in the Discord, there's links on the channel, there's links in chat, there's links everywhere for it. Because I won't shut up about stuff. Um, we have we have a crafting channel. I'm watching you. We have a crafting channel. And you can dump all of the crafty stuff that you want in there. Show us all of the neat stuff that you make. If you if you make macaroni art, put it in the goddamn crafting channel. I want to see your macaroni art. This is... <laughs> but, but what if? <laughs> and then once you dump all your crafting in, go swing by the Critters channel and make yourself oh happy. Oh my god. Listen, today was a banner day in the Critters channel. Not only did we have the very good boy Elliot, who was business Elliot today, because to, to make sure that them cheese stonks stayed up. Um, let's see. There was also 
the sweet Minnie who was hiding at the bottom of her cat tree and just laying there and being a good Minnie. Then Mo came in and Mo, for the first time in our on our side of the world, introduced all of her cats to us. Of course, starting with Sir Chef Dr. Wedginald Antilles the third MD PhD Esquire. Better known as Wedge or Wedgie. He's my favorite. Because he's he, Old brought the Mo Army. He's he speaks to me on a personal level. It was so funny. I like I've told the story like twelve times already today. So, you know, for those of you who have been hanging out with me all day today, you know, plug your ears or whatever so you don't have to hear it a thirteenth time. I feel like Rose. One time you know, there was something like that that happened in St. Olaf once. So Yes, Rose, we know. So I told uh I, I was telling Sabrina, I'm like, Oh my she's she saw the picture of Wedge before I did. Because I was on the work call or something like that, and um, she she's like she's like she's yelling from the other room, critters, and so I'm like, okay, I got a uh, what what okay, and so I went and I finished up what I was doing. I got off the phone, and she yells again, critters, and I looked, and there was the wedge, and so I had a pretty frustrating morning at work this week, and so I. Well, pretty fr- pretty frustrating morning at work today. I do not know how time works anymore. Um, so I was like, you know, like between the work stuff being frustrating, I had to put new buy new tires for my car today. Like it was just like this morning was just. Ugh. Then there was Wedginald. And I told, I sent Mo a DM and I'm like, listen, you have no idea how much that I needed this today. And she says, well, since you need it, that was just one. And she sent me more pictures. She sent me personal Wedginald, which like 80% of the time when I get a DM from Mo, there's a chance that it's Wedginald content. And it's just like the most exciting thing to me. Like she's sending me like content of her, her cat. And I'm just, I'm, I could not be more thrilled about it. So um, she sent me that, and then uh, I was I was showing Sabrina, and so I started naming off all of Mo's cats, and she, I'm like I'm like you know she's got more cats. She's like he's not the only one. I'm like no, she's got five. I'm like so there's Wedge, there's Biggs, there's Bubba, and then she stopped me, and she's like she's like wait, she's like I'm offended. She's like there's Sir Chef Doctor Wedginald Antilles the Third, whatever else. And then there's just Bubba. So then Mo sends me the picture of Bubba, the one that she posts in Critters, which let me, let me show you, like, you gotta go look, but my God, this one picture of Bubba. This is just, then there's Bubba, sweet Bubba. And Mo says to me, like, so Sabrina's dying over over Bubba, and um, she's most like, well, he's a Bubba. She's like, I love him, but he's dumb as a rock. And so I showed Sabrina the picture. She goes, he's dumb, and I'm like, yes, he's dumb. She's like, he is my wedgie. I have claimed him as my wedgie. So this is her Wedginald. Okay, Wedginald is my Wedginald, um, and that's. That's it. That's that's all there is to it. Then there's, you know, of course there's, there's there's the other three. It's 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 Tom. Tom was like Wedge and the other four, but in the house here, it's it's Wedge, Bubba, and the other three. Um, I, at that t- when when I was when I was explaining to Sabrina that Bubba is is just dumb, Mo was like he is currently licking the kitchen floor. And Wedge is curled up comfy on a queen size bed, which there you go. That's, that's all I need to know about either one of them. I hear there's new stuff in the crafting channel. Shiny. Shiny. Yeah, this is, this is, this is the, uh, this is the, 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 the channel that Sabrina checks the most, but let's see. Uh, Oh yeah, that's her. That's her shiny card that she did. Let me see. Can I? Am I able to pull this up in the browser? 
I don't know if I can. Oh, I, I'm probably I'm probably signed in. Yeah, let's. We can make that happen. Music is banging. It's pretty good tonight. I like it. You gonna try and do that uh that lo-fi stuff? Since that's free now? I might. I might. Um I'm I haven't had a chance to look into it and see like what kind of library it is and what kind of availability it has for me to to do, but I might. Okay, here's the so here's the shiny here's the shiny car that hip to be hippie made. Look how shiny it's so shiny 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 shiny. I love like the holographic look of stuff. And then there's this thing that Sabrina and her mom made together. Actually like it was it was sort of like a family effort. So Sabrina Sabrina got the apple and she did the painting work on it. And then her and her mom worked together to to cut and apply the vinyl, because Sabrina's mom has a cricket. Um, and then her brother, they went out to her brother's uh, workshop, and he drilled the holes to put the the twine through on this. Oh, have fun, Andrea. I love you. I miss you already. Send me send me messages later, or send me pictures of you out having fun, so that I know you're having fun. Um, but anyway, so Sabrina and her mom, they, they did the, they did this. So this is Sabrina's sign that's on her door at work because she is the secretary and bookkeeper for her elementary school. So she really is like, she's the one that organizes and herds all the cats at her school, which is, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a hell of a job, but somebody's got to do it. You're a hell of a job. You're goddamn right, I am. Head of a job. 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 You got it. John Snow yourself. You got it. You're a head of a job. Head of a job. So, yeah. <laughs> um, we never said I made sense. Well, that's that's fair. That's that's, that's a not fair what point. You pay me for. I don't. Yep. Sure. Sure. What? Yep, that's, that's, yep. Um, so, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure out. I wanna bring a, I wanna get like one of those multi consoles in here, like one of the retros, like the Retron 5 or something like that. Are those still in, uh, like, are those incredibly hard to come by still? I have a, I have a pie if you want that. Well, like, I would ha I have to plug it in just to double check that everything's still working hunky dory on it, but it's already we never use configured it. and everything. We literally never use it. I mean, I've it's even uh, it's even in a little NES case and everything. Until they get a Pi that can do N sixty four games, I just don't care. I like mean, it can do them, but it doesn't do them well yet. I mean, I um, you know, I got one. In. Okay. Yeah. Good. Which right, I could. Mine's already set up. I mean, mine will take take me ten minutes to set up, and I'll write this off. You know, I'll write custom shit for it. You know, I will because that's what I fucking do. But hey, if you enjoy it, or are you just torturing yourself? I mean, por qué no los dos? So yeah, this is the and thing. If you have a pie, then why get the the spendy thing? Because I can put my cartridges that I have into this. Oh. And okay, I can use right. original controllers with this because it supports the actual controllers. That's what the ports on the side are. Oh, that's fair. The only thing I have original shit for is 64, so. So this will. And I have a 64. Yeah, this will, this will play NES, Super NES, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System, and um, Famicom, but... Um, oh, I'm sorry, not, 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 uh, Sega Master System, Famicom, and then Game Boy Advance, which, if I got a Game Boy Advance, I could do, um, uh, who's it, what's it, Metroid Fusion, because that was an advanced game, 
that's how that's how long it's been since there's been a Metroid like a a, a main series Metroid 2D Metroid game. So like what was it? Metroid Fusion was released in 2002. It's been almost 19 years since we've gotten like a a new main series game. I okay and like don't get me wrong prime the prime series is beautiful but like the prime series is like wedged in it's like in here and then you've got like the main series metroid fusion was metroid 4 this is metroid 5 that's coming out and dread's been in development forever like it was going to be a ds game and then, like, it fell by the wayside, as Metroid Project seemed to fucking do. It's okay. It's fine. Tell us how you really feel. <sighs> Been waiting for this fucking game for goddamn near twenty years. <sighs> but it's got it's got angry robots, and like angry robots, like, sure. Like we keep fight, fighting biological threats. Give me a give me a fucking robot. Let's let's fucking go. Let's let's watch this robot just tear shit up. Not me, because the robots are they're they're one shot. You get caught by a robot, game is over. Which kind of adds this like I mean that's the dread aspect to it is like this thing can hunt you down and if it catches you you're done. Like there's there's no escaping it. Um. But There's yeah. something about game design lately that people were just like, oh, yeah, things that you just can't beat. Let's just have them follow you around all the time. I mean, like, come on, NES games were like that anyway, though. Right. But now, now that we have better graphics than that, we can be way more artistic about it. Like nine foot six tall ladies. What? No. We know what we're about. They make it they make it in black too. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty. So pretty. I like that a lot. I might get one of those. It's 160 bucks. I wonder how much it is on Amazon. About tree fitty. Mm. It is not the fuck available on Amazon. No, they seem to have a tight uh, grasp on that thing. <sighs> that thing's never been available. Uh, where's let's see. Although there are. I could get it on an eBay for actually a reasonable price, like two hundred bucks, one seventy plus thirty dollars shipping, so like two hundred bucks. One ninety. It's not bad. If you go with a reputable seller, eBay is pretty much fine. Yeah, eBay's alright. eBay's alright. I got a bunch of dishes on eBay last year. Um, let's see. Where's my... I'll show you all my dishes that I love. If I can... Dish, do, 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 do. If he dish, do, do. Sure. Why are you texting me codes? Oh, okay. The code is 6969. Six, nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Ooh, well done eBay. Okay, eBay is the first not Microsoft thing that I've seen that supports FIDO2. In other words, you know how if you can log in with to your machine with like a pin or like your your face or a fingerprint or something? There's a standard that that supports that kind of stuff. And Microsoft allows you to sign in to web browser stuff with it because it interacts with the operating system, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, eBay's the first, like, 
like not Microsoft site that I've seen that actually supports being able to do that. So very happy about that now. Now I can just sign in with my fucking pin. Would they like take whoever did that and go smack their username restriction team with updates so that I don't have to confuse Chris every time we need to use a uh, um, warranty that I bought from them? Because they don't allow your eBay username to be the same as your email address. I, I know. So, but thankfully Gmail lets me put random periods in my email and still get my email. Okay. So, <laughs> which is the dumbest restriction ever. I don't understand. Like, I don't even understand the security of that. Anyway, uh, these are my dishes. It's called Blue Willow. And I say it, I always say it Blue Willow. And Bean loves when I say Blue Willow. Because I'm not going to say Blue Willow. <gasps> Bye, Hidden. Have a good night at work. Bye, Hidden. Blue Willow. That's it. That's Blue Willow right there. Okay. Now we've talked about, we've talked about Ocean Spray Sponsorships. Sailor Moon, and my dishes. We're going places tonight. We're going somewhere. I don't know the fuck we're, we're going, going dinner. but we're, we're doing like, ooh, dinner. <gasps> or breakfast oh. for Fritos. Mm. Fritos. Mm, yeah, we need to do that. Uh, breakfast. I love breakfast. So yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, like like any basically anybody from the south know either had people or knew people that had those dishes. Like that's just yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Ah. <sighs> I'm not sure what else to, to really talk about, but yeah, I want to play. I want to play some old stuff. I think just for funsies, um, because I think it would be fun and relaxing, and like not even play with with audio, just like have the chill music and I don't know, screw around with it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of the uh non-combat stuff in 14 would probably be cool with that too like once you get to a point where like crafting ends up just being kind of a mindless thing to do mm-hmm mm -hmm. okay. i'm just crafting stacks on stacks on stacks of shit just to yeah just for the doing it for the gill baby doing it for the gill uh. or like you're doing it as part of progressing for something but it's just it's just a grind yeah that's that's true too yeah uh, anyway, I, I really like I, I like the new UI up here. Um, I'm very happy with that, and, and I think it's a lot less intrusive. Um, so it's cleaner, it's neater. I, I like it. it. It matches my branding. Like I've got consistent fonts now. Uh, Dungeons 2. Okay, so I got the email from Stream Raiders earlier. Let's see. Where is that email? Where the hell did it go? I swear to God, I saw it. It was tasty. There it is. Yeah. Dungeons 2. Limited time event starting on June 30th. Uh, let's see. Whole new set of Twitch drops. There's gonna be like a bunch of like IRL loot for for cat for uh, like captains and crew who are doing all this stuff. So I know that that uh, Miss Alley Pup is gonna be all over that. Like they're giving away stream decks and keyboards and headsets and Amazon gift cards. Like they're doing all kinds of shit with it. 
It's it's kind of wild. So that's pretty exciting. Let's see what else. Yeah, that's that's most of it. Let me get get rid of this. Get this. You're pretty exciting. I, oh. I don't know. I mean, all right. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So that's that's fun. Um. I kind of want to do something. I kind of want to do something different with like all this stuff over here, like just slightly. Like I just want to tweak it a little bit. So like the countdown has the new, like the, the new countdown screen. Like big big fan of the countdown screen. Love the way that looks now. But like I want to I want to change this up over here a little bit. I don't know what I want to do yet. It does have some dead space. Well, I mean, it's got that, dead space, but that's yeah. that's that dead space is by design. Sure, but yeah, it looks like you were just waiting to play a plaster and add there, honestly. Yeah, the dead space is not necessarily visually interesting. Like a sponsored by Ocean Spray. Uh, sure. Sponsored by Ocean Spray. Um, yeah, that would be. Yeah, I, I would like to have something there, but I don't know what yet. My thing is, I don't... For things like the sound alerts, I don't know, like, if I want that to come up over top of the stream. I don't know if I can put the Ocean Spray logo there. I think, I think if I put it there before they say it's okay, then they might get mad. I could put Captain Hoppers over there. I could do something like that. I don't know. I'll definitely could put Captain Hoppers over there. Yeah, it sounds like Nino. It sounds like you need commissions for all of the games you're playing, and depending on what day you're playing, what, what game you're playing that day, that would put up be some neat. new artwork. Yeah. Yeah, but I change games like once every couple of months, so like. So. Well, I mean. Am I going to commission new artwork every couple of months? Yeah. Say, artwork is not cheap, so that that is a problem there. I mean. I mean, or you get a generic one that represents you for when you don't want to do it. But I mean, you could get like, because a Minecraft Captain Hoppers could be both Minecraft and Dungeons, and like, you know, you could you could get something maybe that was shooty shoot because I'm sure you'll play other shooty shoots. So you could get something that maybe is Captain Hoppers with a gun or something. I don't know. You could you could come up with things that would work. You of all people could come up with things that would make it work if you want to. I mean, sure, sure. I don't know. It's just, oh, I'll figure something out. She will, and then you'll Probably. hate it, and then you'll figure something else out, and then you'll hate it. You've already used that one once today. Thank you very much. But it's still true. I don't... It's not using it or not using it. I'm just speaking truths here. Spitting cold hard facts. Listen, don't you jump in with her. She's got... She doesn't need any help from you. Also, you did... You already said something too. I need all the help I can get. What are you talking about? I mean, technically here, I am your supervisor... Like I'm the you're this is this is my only job that I have here. That into Are you saying are you saying that this makes you the adultiest adult in the room? Have you John Snowed yourself to supervisor of the channel? I don't <laughs> listen, I don't just take orders from you, Allie. I do what I want. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you understand that you are the adultiest adult and in charge here. I am not the adultiest adult. I wouldn't you are uh, indeed 100% the adultiest adult. We've been over this. What about Tom? Tom's adulty. <laughs> Tom is too enamored with farts. See, so Tom and I used to sit adult. here and giggle about staff member too much for him to be the adultiest adult. Oh, for fuck's yeah. sake. Yeah. 
All right. Um. Uh, Tom is Tom. Boy, howdy is Tom. Tom. All right. I'm going to archive.org. Let's go. Let's go look for f some fucking software. Uh. Classic PC games. <laughs> I mean, you're just an elderly potato. An elderly potato. That's 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 a fair that's a fair point. What do we have in here? Wait, shut up, shut up, kid. Tom might be the potatoiest adult, but he is not the adultiest adult. The potatoiest? Yes. They call him Tater Salad. Tater Salad, Commander Keen. They call me Tater Salad. It is Doo -doo. the starchiest i don't know i might compete with you on starch because i am a very much bread and that is starchy so you are the potatoiest but i'm not sure that i can grant you starchiest i feel like starchy has more competition than potato yeah but he's like like think about how dense a potato is versus how airy a piece of bread is even a dense piece of bread is still no match for a potato in terms of density we didn't say densest. But he's still the starchiest, so he's got more starch packed in because he's more dense. Potatoes are small, though. He's you not a... Make, like, ha have you, you seen some potatoes? Potato. Like, potatoes are small. <laughs> no, I don't want to challenge you to a carb eating contest. I just am not willing to give you the starch title the without time. seeing any competition for the title go down. I am saying I am willing to grant you the potatoiest title without even considering any other competition. You know what I could do? I'm not even sure that I compete in the starch category. I'm just saying that that's a broader category than potatoiest. You are king of the potato category. Of course. So are you gonna play it on your fridge? No, we're gonna we're gonna play it on the stream. So the stream plays Doom. I mean, are you gonna play it on the fridge on on the stream? No, I can't play it on the fridge. Get the, X, get the Xbox Mini fridge, attach a screen to it, and then play it on that fridge. I don't know if there's a CPU in that. Well, you could put a CPU in that. What's stopping you? Not having the fridge. So you could do this down the line. I mean, eventually, yes. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Speaking of the pie, since I have the pie, and we're talking about doing this. Um, pie. Yeah, the raspberry oh, pie. Raspberry. Yeah. I was excited about food for a second. Now I'm like disappointed. Make a pizza pie. <laughs> Look, a potato I'm sack. I'm extremely disappointed. You're a potato sack. Allie, if you're making pie, can I come over? Wait, you should make pie. Make some pie. Ooh, ooh. Um, sound blaster. Amazing. I think this is the first video game I ever played. Yes, this is the first video game I ever played. Wow. My babysitter let me play it when I was like, I don't know, four, six, six. Look at that. This is. I great. don't need you to be presentable. I just need you to have pie. Yeah. I will help you clean and organize if you wanted me to, or I will just pretend it doesn't exist if that's what you prefer. I just need you to have the pie. The pie is the only presentable portion of this affair here. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, yeah. I'm not one of those people who comes over to your house and judges your house. Especially if you're feeding me. I either volunteer to help organize and clean, or I just eat your food and leave. Whichever you prefer. Last time I came over to your house, I fed the cat and left. Yes. 
and he thought long and hard about that whole scenario, and he was like, I should start a business. He did, it's true. A tie. He was like, mother, mother, I crave Thai. He does love his Thai. He made me buy that Thai. Can't you, though? Can't you? Well, there we go. Doom plays in the browser. On the stream. Yes, it does. Hold on, where's this? I thought it was in here. I ate it. You didn't eat it. I did. I snuck in while you weren't looking and I ate it. Okay. Before the Xbox 360 and beyond controllers were PC compatible, and that was a thing, back in the day we had one of the greatest PC game pads of all time, which is just fantastic for... Um, for playing older stuff, emulated stuff, whatever. Um, which I do not condone the, the, the downloading of ROMs illegally. Yeah, own it first. Or something. That's technically also not legal. To, to download it even if you own it. I thought you couldn't get in trouble with possessing it if you... You can't if you own the ROM. You can't you you can't get in trouble for making your own backup of it. But it's not your own backup if somebody makes the backup and you download it from from a third party. It's the whole thing is garbage. Anyway, um this was the greatest gamepad of its era and I still have mine after like I don't know. I've had this thing for like maybe 20 years almost. Something like that. But this, this is the Microsoft Sidewinder Pro Gamepad. And it's beautiful, and I love it so much. Of course it's Microsoft. It's, if, like, they've been building really good, um, like, peripherals since before they even had a console. And, like, this thing is just fantastic, and I need to clean it because it's old and it's grungy, but, like, I love it so much. And I kind of, like, I don't know. It looks like Baby's first Xbox controller. I mean, it kind of is. It kind of is. It's It's got all the best stuff, though. Like, it's got the right button layout if you want to play NES, Super NES, Genesis, Genesis with the turbo buttons. Like, there's a like there's great configurations for, for retro gaming on that thing. And of course, if you're playing arcade stuff, most of your arcade stuff usually only has one, like one directional, and then a few buttons. But like even for some of your like more button-heavy arcade stuff, it's got six and it's got shoulders or triggers, I guess technically. So you can still do that. Okay, so I guess. So I guess if we're going to do this, what's the, where is it? Okay. No, if we were talking about you, we'd be talking more about hot girl shit. Mm. Yeah, no. Or violence. Violent hot girl Violent shit. Violent hot girl shit. Violent hot girl <laughs> shit. That's Viv. I would not recommend naming your stream that. I feel like that would be no. I don't. Toss. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that would be. We're not going to do that. Um. Also, uh, Allison, if you figure out what kind of pie you're making, you know, let us know. If you end up making a French silk pie. Ooh, French silk. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. 
You and me can split that. With the with, that with together. the curls on top of it. Oh yes. Yeah. Also, yes, Viv is Uma Thurman. Ooh, pudding pie. Ooh, chocolate I pudding pie. I've never had pudding pie. Chocolate pudding pie. Pudding. Okay. There's pudding in the fridge, but it's all the way in the fridge. Let's see what's. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna look into this now and see what kind of like the latest stuff is. So emulation on the pie. Um, a pie two. Pie two. This is a pie two. Mm. Yep, it's. I've had this for a very the, long time. It runs Windows. The, the pie fours, I think, is unless we're on the. I don't know if we have a fifth gen of pies yet, but the fours are still struggling with N64. Why was I going to do N64? Boston cream pie. Mm. (laughs) Cream pie. What? What? Oh my goodness. You're such a child. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, he. And this is why Zach is the adultiest adult. Why? Hold on. No, no, hold, hold the fuck up. Okay. Well. Since you're going to have some kind of thing, I'm going to have a cookie. Um, oh no, hold on a second. Why? What does him being a child have to do with me? In comparison, you are the adultiest adult. What about you? You're the one that called him out. And... I'm she's also the one that supplied me with the pudding. She's an enabler, uh-huh. therefore she's not an adult. Parents give kids pudding all the time. I don't have CS experience. I can't be an adult. Okay, let me put it this way. She gave me pudding because I low-key mentioned where it was at, and that was it. Yes, Vivian, we know. (laughs) This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. See, it's funny because Boston's in Massachusetts. Boston. Boston. Oh God! Please, like, please. I have a horrendous Boston accent. I'm never doing that again. Please, please. Like Viv is twitching right now. I can see his face <laughs> twitching. I can Good. see it from here. Good. I'm sure he deserved it. I can see it from nearly t- like 1,400 miles away that he is twitching right now. I mean, this is what you pay me for, is to harass people, so... I don't pay you to harass people. Yes, you do. There you go, back on your bullshit. Viv, can you be back on your bullshit if you never got off of your bullshit? It's a valid question, right? Just just don't remind me, I'm just taking this thing apart for a minute. Okay, I know my Boston accent's terrible, Viv. It's like every other accent that I don't do, or that I do purposely. If I inadvertently mirror someone's accent, it comes out fine. But if I try to purposely do any accent, it's just a margled, garbled mess of nothing. I'll margle your garbled mess of nothing or something like that. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm sure you will. Lollipop. Well, then you can never be back on your bullshit, Viv, because you haven't stopped. There you go. See? So you can't come back. There it is. So you're not back on your bullshit. This is a pie 2B, I think. Yeah, 2B. Unless he's Unless it's on his back. Mm. No, then then, then you're, you're not 2B. back on your bullshit. You're on your bullshit on your back. It's... Yeah. Again, very fine distinction. But it's still the same. <gasps> What? Oh, hi, Fluff. Is there Fluff? We have been visited by the goodest boy. Oh. Hi, good boy. He is such a good boy. He's chilling out in here with Bowser. He's getting he's getting more chill with Bowser. That's good. Uh-huh. That's really good. Maybe it's because he has a tie now, so he has a superiority complex. It's not superiority complex. He's... Listen, he's just a very good boy. He knows... He knows what he's worth. Yes. You have to know what you're worth when you're engaging in business. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's true. That's why I'm so bad at it. Well, hello, Fritz. How's it going there, bud? 
How are things over on your side of the world? Y'all doing all right over there? You know, I was thinking about you because we were just talking about doing some, uh, some maybe just like chill retro gaming stuff in the background on therapy nights when we don't have a topic, when we're just kind of bullshitting like tonight, when we're doing hot girl shit, apparently. Um... Oh, so, I'm thinking about, was a thinking stretch. about, you know, the retro gaming stuff going on on y'all side of the world. Also, I'm checking out my pie you and guys, seeing if it's still worth a shit. You guys are talking about retro gaming. We're oogling over Elliot over here. Well, in fairness, he is a well, very he is good boy. Baby. He's a very good boy. This thing still has oh, Windows 10 on it. Ah. Uh, Is, what pie do we have, Chris? Ours is a 3A, I want to say. Oh. IoT Core. What, what was the last build that worked on this thing? 15063. Get the fuck out of here. He's the very, very best business boy. I am dead serious, though. You are welcome to our 3A. We don't use it. We plugged it in once and then never touched it again. I mean, I, I've i got a 2. I mean, I'm not going to do anything like like, like ape shit with That's it. That's fair. That's fair. Let's I'm see. an N64 girl, so they all disappoint me. I was just starting to get used to 10, and they're already fucking announcing their end of life for it, so I'm already annoyed. End of life for it? Yeah, they're ending support in 2025 for Windows 10. From what I was reading earlier. Okay, let's... Let's back up a second. <laughs> At least from what I was reading earlier, which may be misinformation, and I'm sure Zach will correct me immediately. It's not that I'm correcting you. You 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 haven't you haven't done anything wrong. The okay, Windows Ten is is slightly different because Windows Ten was designed to be Windows as a service. In other words, it was supposed to be the one version that lasted forever. Okay, and the idea was twice a year we'd get updates to it and we would just continuously do this. It was the one OS to rule them all. So the Windows 10 that we have now is vastly different than the Windows 10 that we got several years ago when Windows 10 first came out. Because Windows 10 is old now. Like, Windows 10 was released in... When was it? 2015, okay? So Windows 10 is almost six years old now. So the Windows 10, again, that we got six years ago is very different than the Windows 10 that we have now. So Windows 10 support follows this kind of cycle where it goes like this, where there's a build that comes out, there's a version that gets released and it has support up to here. Then there's another version that comes out and it has support like this. Then they release another version with support like this and then another one with support like this. So in the software world, that's typically called like standard support and long-term support or long-term servicing. So you release a, a, a version that lasts for a little while and then you release another version that lasts for a long while. And it's like you dedicate, it's, it's extra stable, you will continue doing stability and support updates and like security stuff for it, whatever, okay? Um, this look is for you. Vivian K. S'mores. This I look is for you. On, I would be on 7 if Chris didn't like forcibly make me get to 10. So I'm with you, Viv. I support you, Viv. I, I don't support that kind of behavior here. We do not We do not support that kind of irresponsible behavior here. I support it. Viva, if you're out there somewhere... I'm proud of you. Um, not that that makes any difference, but I am. Um, so whenever a new long-term servicing version comes out, that new build number of Windows 10, that, that release of it, 
becomes the new long-term service or like that becomes the new like the the um the service branch okay so essentially they will move it up so the version that came out you know six years ago Ooh, enjoy dinner when you figure out what you're eating let me know what you're eating because you know food um so when the new when like the old one the six years ago um it is it's it's it hasn't been in support for a while um so windows 10 is both out of support and in support depending on which version of windows 10 you're on yeah but what i'm reading is literally talking about the operating system's retirement date and a lot and again the problem with that is that is the most recently released long-term servicing version like the enterprise version of Windows 10, which means that's, and that usually goes in a four to five year cycle because that last version was put out last year. That's a five year cycle. So yes, the current support timeline for Windows 10 is 2025. So a lot of people are reading into this Windows event and yes, there's branding in the leaked bill that says Windows 11 until Microsoft calls it Windows 11. I'm not calling it that. Because they've put out decoy shit before. I've seen them do it. Just to fuck with people. Especially with the guy that's running Windows and devices now. He would do that just to troll. And I'm well, about it. People are it. just freaking out because... People are freaking out because of a system that they, did, they, they don't pay enough attention to. Because they're not in it enough. So okay. people okay. like me, who have been doing this forever... I know how these support cycles work, especially with Microsoft products. So having an end of life of 2025 makes sense because like next year, they would release a new long-term servicing version that would be end of life in 2027 and it would get bumped now, up every time. With the other stuff, is it, poten is it potential that they're right? Is there potential that, that, it, that, this, they, that they're not just running with it? That's kind of like saying, could it could it change? Which yes. Okay, fair. Sure, any, things can change at any time for any reason. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to. There are a lot of signs that point to that maybe being correct. But again, I'm not I'm not taking any of it. I'm taking all of it at, like with a grain of salt until the event next okay. Thursday. So. Plus, um, I, I think a lot of the people that are saying that kind of stuff and reading into leaks and stuff like that, they, they jump the gun on this kind of stuff because um, some instances they're right. In some instances, we've spent the last over a month waiting for a Switch Pro that Nintendo hasn't actually ever said a goddamn thing about. Month? Try like two years. Sure, but the point is, <laughs> it, it, but the this, point is, this is stuff. This last month, they've gone like super yeah. hard on it though no, because I, of E three. It's, it's, it's sometimes, sometimes it's because it could happen. Sometimes it's just for the clicks. It's like, you gotcha. know, Ooh, okay. Come. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can get in the voice. I don't care. You here. You know what? No, just Ooh, here. no, you can you cannot get in the voice. Absolutely okay. not. You want, you want to just jump in. Okay. Let me see. All right. Uh, yes. Cause we're, we're talking about my, my intake of Microsoft clickbait is so very important. It's we were okay. we were talking about how awesome you were and we didn't want you to hear you about wanna, it. You want me to show everybody your your sweet yes. your sweet baby? So Miss Alley Pup is on with us and she got let me hide this real quick. She got a sweet baby sleepy chocobos. Oh my gosh. It's a sleepy chimkin. It's so cute. Oh my god, I love it so much. Look at the sleepy it's so chimkin. Soft. It looks so soft. it looks very soft and so plushy and and snuggly and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's a sleepy chicken. It's so soft. It's a very lovely chicken. I just, I just had to share. I appreciate you sharing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing your choco bro with us. Choco bro. Oh, the two the two of you. I have to show the other thing that I got. That is, I think, still spoilers. Quite potentially. Oh yeah. That's what I think it is. Yeah. 
that might have to be that might have to be a side conversation that y'all have yeah yeah i know also my bang cookies arrived also uh, also what? also um, Ayla, 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 um i got uh i got my eyebrows done with uh permanent makeup it's true. So I paid somebody to make them look this way. <laughs> How long has that, has that been? That's been like a month now, hasn't it? Uh, it's been over a month since I had my touch up. I think. Wow. Yeah. This my my eyeliner too, actually, Ayla. Jesus, I guess it is like middle of June now. Yeah, because I got shit. the touch up done. I think the beginning of May. Fuck. I don't know what day yeah. it is anymore. I don't know what year Dude, it is. I, I don't know any shit. What day is it? I don't, I don't remember anything. Nope. It's been, it's been more than like four hours. I've forgotten already. Yeah. Tell me about it. So anyway, yes, there is potential that that is correct. Um, but there's also the potential that... Um, is that version will stop in 2025 and the next version will go until when the fuck ever. Right, exactly. So, okay. and, and that's the whole point of, of when they started doing Windows as a service. So that Windows 10, it, you, it's it's getting like regular updates to it, like feature updates. And those feature updates are significant enough to where they can say, okay, this is like, this is like a new, a new cutoff point, you know, and this, this version is supported to this point. This version is no longer supported. And a lot of that has That's to do fair. with security. Like that, that I'm fine with because I get my updates. Although sometimes I get them at times that I wish Windows would stop shoving them down my throat. But anyways. Um, security is important. Security is important, but I can, you know, at least finish what I'm doing. I know. I know. There's, well, there, there are settings for that. They've they've gotten a lot of flack for that in the past, and rightfully so. And they I'll be the first the one to, I'll, I'll be the first one to say when, when they get, need to get their shit together. They, they undo the settings, and that's what pisses me off. Well, it's... The amount of times I've tried to lobotomize Cortana, and, well, not I, but I've had to have Chris lobotomize Cortana, very fairly proves that. Well, that don't worry about it. Cortana's dead, off. so. Well, good. He has never played Halo, well, storyline that hard into it. No, I mean, like, the service. The actual service oh. is practically They're dead. Is it, is, it finally, is it finally dead? Okay, cool. Consumer side, yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Like... My Gen 1 Surface headphones that had Cortana in them don't really do anything that with it anymore. This is the Harman Kardon Invoke speaker. This was the speaker that had Cortana built into it. No, no more. They updated it so it doesn't it doesn't have Cortana in it anymore. It still makes pretty blue lights when you touch it and the top of it, but it doesn't do anything. It's literally just a speaker now, a, a Bluetooth speaker that sounds great. It's, it's a fantastic piece of sound hardware. Doesn't do shit anymore. Yeah, no, I'm... Okay, that's that's not a Windows thing. That's a boot camp thing. Boot camp is notorious for fucking up drivers in Windows. It's not like they're necessarily invested in making Windows work on the Mac. So that's a boot camp thing. Your face is a boot camp thing. Boot camp your face. Threaten me with a good time. Yes. Um. So, all right. I guess I will. I guess I will. Probably turn this into like a little gaming machine. I mean, I could do it on software on my PC, but like, eh. what's the good you stuff? You need a new project to hate. Define project. The software you, you custom software you build for your Raspberry Pi. Um, I mean, yeah, it it would I like I would take something existing and just customize it and modify it like. Oh, so you just multi-stream it? Yeah, basically. Okay, that's fair. Oh, I'm just peachy keen. There were lots of there are lots of of kitties in the the critters channel today, so it's a pretty good day. It was a pretty good day, all you know, all things considered. We had the new Mexican place around the corner for lunch. It was really good. I got a burrito because you know 
I was feeling it. Um, got my car back. It does handle better with the new tires and they fixed the alignment that they fucked up when I took it back in December. And they're like, oh, you should get an alignment every six months. Yeah, well, it's been in my fucking driveway, so it doesn't get out of alignment just fucking sitting in one stationary spot. <sighs> it might. You don't know. I mean... Depends on how badly they want to upsell you. I do not use any Apple hardware. I'm... Yeah. Okay. How do I put this? He's a Microsoft shill through and through. I I had a Windows phone until I like it became a problem to have a Windows phone. Like, but he bleeds green. That means something different at a company I used to work for. I'm sorry. Could also mean he's a Vulcan, just as a as a thing. No, there was there was a there was a product that I used to work on years ago. That its its colors were green and and bleeding green meant that you were like hardcore into the product, which is fine. But also the culture there was just not good. Sure, uh, but I'm I'm talking Microsoft green, not that product green. I know, I know. It's just when you say bleed green, I have like flashbacks. Um. Also, that's that's a good one too, Nick. That's. Uh, That's Sabrina, fair. Sabrina's brother. Yeah, Sabrina's brother is the the same way. Um. I you have a dog. Yeah, I'll get him in a minute. But you you are the definition of an unpaid Microsoft shill. Oh yeah, for sure. Although I did get paid for it at one point. I used to be a Microsoft student partner back in the day. Sure, but you're unpaid now. Well, yeah. I guess that is the latest, huh? Okay. You sure the latest? I don't... I, what does that even mean? But you're the adultiest adult here. You, you keep saying this, but I, I, I don't think it means what you think it means. If it didn't mean what I thought it meant, then you wouldn't be as offended. You don't make any sense. <laughs> Why don't I make no, any sense? No, she makes dollars. What have I said that makes no sense? She makes several dollars. Several dollars. Not as many. Like, five dollars. Five dollars. Never mind. Yeah, it's nope. about that. I'm about a five dollar holla. It's fine. That's fair. Let's see, what does this thing do these days? Can I... About tree fitty. It does, it does tricks. Oh my. All right, let's see here. Get out from under my desk. Who's under your desk? The annoying fluff. Hey. Not my fluff. Hey, you be sweet to her. No. What do you mean she no? She doesn't get freedom. No, the whiny dog one. Oh. You be nice to him. He's a good boy. No. He's doing his best. I'm sure. I'm still not going to be nice to him. Come on, bud. Come on, Buddha. You're like a miniature Buddha, covered in fur. Oh my God! He's all here we whiny go. and rah, 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 rah. when he licks things, like my carpet. Stop having such a tasty carpet, Christopher. Don't, don't, don't make me, uh, this put is... on your to-do list taking the carpet out. 
have fun paying someone to do that. Uh-oh, you can do that. I <laughs> Fuck no. Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> Enjoy it not getting done if that's what you want. <laughs> uh, you know, this oh, is just... You you agreed to upkeep on the house when we bought this house. And if that's determined to be upkeep on the house, well, then it's already in the uh, agreement. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm allergic. No. <laughs> I'm not allergic to carpet. Wow. Listen, the you last time the I tried to I tried to do something like and that, that I ended up in the going through the, the ceiling. Ground. And that's why we're keeping you on the ground. Wow. This got really this got really weird really quickly, y'all. Uh, is it really any weirder than normal? I mean, I'm just making making that crystal clear right now. I am not ripping up and redoing our carpet. You wouldn't put the new stuff in. I wouldn't make you put the new stuff in, but I definitely would make you rip the old stuff out. Uh, they they rip the old stuff up as part of the process. You you have to pay them for that. It's not free. God. Um, if you rip your own stuff up, the fl put down is cheaper. <laughs> yeah, Nick, it turned into that. It hasn't been that way for six fucking months. Um, so I use a Surface Book again. I'm I'm all Microsoft, so I'm using a Surface Book. Um, I actually have a Surface Book Two, the 15 inch, which I really really like. I'm pretty sure when Zach boots in the morning, there's little Windows logos popping up in his eye eyeballs. Doom 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 doom. Do, 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 do. I mean, I cannot call people out if you would prefer that. All right, let's see if I can make this thing work. I don't know if I'll be able to with yeah I don't think I'll be able to let's see copy oh no I want to no I'll just add a new one whatever and capture Okay. Okay. Do. Yeah, I have a desktop for running the stream on. I'm at. Uh, I'm. I. I was running the stream off of my laptop for a while, um, but I'm running it off of the uh, the desktop now. I got a big beefy desktop uh, a few weeks back. Beefy. We got here. Cookies. Cookies. Oh, well, look at random. Jesus Christ. Oh. That is a lot of cookies. Those look amazing. That is a lot of cookies. Hold on. I don't even know where I am now. I don't know what's going on. Do we have cookie delivery in our area? Yeah. I don't know that we do. I, I don't know that that's a thing. Oh, 
apparently Bang Cookies like delivers all over the place. Huh. Yeah, that's... Oh, and they have a triple chocolate. Okay, I need to stop looking at cookies. I don't need cookies. Uh, I don't know what's, uh, what's going on here. Hazelnut stuffed. Snickered churro. Let's see. Caramel sea salt chocolate. Kitchen sink. Chocolate covered strawberry. No, no s'mores. No booze. Just give me all the triple chocolates. I'm curious about the chocolate covered strawberry, too. I'm not sure why it won't. Uh... Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, because it was paused because it was in the background. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see, should I? There we go. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. You're not bad. Well, I mean, you say that. Allie, did you get a triple chocolate cookie? Yes, okay. You'll have to tell me how good it is so I can live vicariously through you. Thank you, I appreciate your sacrifice in this matter. Oh yeah, like so, so, so selfless. Yes, she is. She's eating the cookies so I don't have to. Eating the cookies so you don't have to. Correct. All right, it's very selfless. She's saving me from myself. Because if she didn't get a triple chocolate cookie, well, those just have to be tried, and then someone has to do it, and then I have to throw myself on that sword. <laughs> oh no. But since she got a triple chocolate cookie, that sword has already been taken. that I selfishly ask you to eat cookies in my stead? I mean, all right, if that's what you appreciate. That's fair. You're fair. Mm. Mm. <laughs> to be Uncertain. fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. I mean, to be fair. To be fair. Okay, this is not accepting input from the...
Uh, you mostly have to con probably have to configure it. No, I got it. It's fine. It was it for some reason I had to like redetect the changes to it. I don't know why. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. <gasps> I can't believe I got this to work. Is this on the Pi or is this uh, on your computer? This is this is on original hardware that's definitely not on my computer. Yeah, totes. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, um, that reminds me. Did you, okay? So, did you have any of you played the remake of Metroid Two, the one that came out on the 3DS? No. Oh, that one was. Oh, it's it's pretty good. There are a couple of there are a couple of mechanics that are like not like ideal, but. Oh, I know about that. Yes, I know about the crossover <laughs> randomizer. Yeah. Oh, I've 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 heard about that one. Didn't we talk about that at work back? You know, in the before times when. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's. I'm pretty sure that that lollipop is the one that I heard that from. Yeah, because I was telling them all about how uh, using using my name as a seed made for a, a very trolly run. Mine was trolly too, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Ah. Blah. Blah. Oh, really? Blah. A suitless run through Norfair. No. No. That's danger. I'm surprised That's that I got this danger. working so That's quickly. Death. Dangerous. Uh, oh, that's one other thing that I want to fix real quick. Where's the... I want you on the... That's that one, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. When the moon hit your eye like a big pizza pie. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the, the chill music for a second. to work okay boy howdy does it ever bring back the memories okay I'm gonna I think I'm gonna turn the music back off on it and... but yeah the Nintendo's hound dogs are sniffing sniffing around <laughs> like the fucking Emmy robot and the Emmy robots from from dread have already been deployed to my location. Uh, well, I'm happy that this works. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm very much enjoying that this is a thing that I can do. Oh god, I forget how slow she jumps at the beginning of this game. Hmm. 
Hmm. This, okay, this is kind of nice. I mean, is this something that y'all enjoy? Just kind of sitting here bullshitting while I fuck around playing Super Metroid? Yeah, I mean, like I said, as long as it's something that you personally can autopilot, because that's the thing, like, oh, as yeah. long as you're still still engaged, you're good. I've played this thing like a hundred times. Hmm. Fuck you in your tail. You, you pterodactyl bitch. Fuck you, you pterodactyl bitch. Feel like you uh just checked work things? Hey, that work you did Monday? Legal said that actually they want it this way. Can you go redo it? <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, I guess it's that time. Like I'm not even mad at the messenger, like it's it's not her fault. I am but... I am I am not outputting from an SNES right now, no. You're totally playing it on original hardware. <clears throat> yes, I am outputting from an SNES. Absolutely. Yep. Blink, blink twice. Blink twice if you need assistance. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What have you... Nick, what have you posted in the goddamn... Oh. Oh, you got actual photos. You used Photoshop for editing photos. Ooh, mm, that's that quality train content. You get some really good train shots, though. I got to tell you, bud, those are those are some good shots. I really like those a lot. What shot, shot, shots? That third one, that's like sort of like almost like a like a three quarter of that engine. That looks good. I like that. I like that quite a bit. I think the next endeavor NS needs to get on is uh, photoshopping Thomas the Tank Engine onto all those guys. <sighs> Thomas has never seen such bullshit. <laughs> nice. Uh. I could marathon stream me playing streaming me that like playing this. I could do that. Like, just go for, like, several hours one fucking day. Just for, you know, reasons. Right. Yep, yep, yep. I, I do all of my arts and crafts in paint. Because I'm not good at said arts and crafts. So, I made Elena a visual aid earlier, and uh, I think I, I think it would have was bordering bordering on offensive. No, it's just the grammar made it clear that it was not something someone else put up, and that it was you. <laughs> it's because I used the word gooder. <laughs> dude, dude, Linda Fron, do it! Like, fucking do it, man! Like, why not? Hey, if nothing else. You could replay through the 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 four original core games, leading up to playing Dread. I'm just saying. Uh, I and also Alibeth, I I I 100% pay for Creative Cloud, but I mean I use it for stuff like I'm using Audition to edit my stuff. I'm using Premiere for things like. Um, Ah, oh, come on. Okay, you know what? I'll just do that. Um, I'm using Premiere to do things like the countdown at the beginning. Just like I threw that together the other day. Um, like the, just the circle part of it because the rest is just an over. Well, no. I think that, that, that that's that's actually part of the video. Anyway, point is, I, I'm, I'm using it for that kind of stuff. So... Okay, I'm not worrying about 
word macros until tomorrow. I'm not worrying about word macros until tomorrow. Hey, don't worry I about word, word macros. Stuff I had to do. I'm just. I'm amused. I kind of wondered. I'm helping the. Uh, I'm helping Ooh. an analyst with uh, going through our documents for rebranding. Yeah. Because part of our company is changing their. They used to be uh, Franklin Templeton Distributors, whatever, uh -huh. and now they're like Franklin Distributors LLC. Oh. And so the acronym changed, and I thought it looked funny, and it turns out they want a comma in the middle of the acronym. Mm. Of so course they do. do the I get to redo the rebranding tomorrow. Like, it's not a big deal. It's just funny. Honestly, yeah, Allie. Like, I'm. I have it because I'm. Like, I can justify it because I'm doing it. Like, I'm actually doing creative stuff with it here. I guess I have to bomb that, don't I? Probably. Um, you could use Photoshop to make designs for the vinyls. Or Illustrator. Like, Illustrator is even better for that because it's all vectors. So that'll let you scale it, you know, however you need to. And I know a lot of times, ah, um, design applications um, and the software that, like, the Cricut and stuff uses, those things really like vector graphics just because it's a lot easier to translate that stuff. Um, like, doesn't it, isn't SVG one of the formats that natively supports? Yeah, Creative Cloud's everything. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like 53 a month, I think, but it comes with Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, like, I've got, the, I've got the big one. So it's got Photoshop, Illustrator, Audition, which is the, the audio editing software. It's got Premiere, the video editor. Um, it's got, like, a whole bunch of other stuff, too. Is there a non-subscription version? Like, can you just buy it outright for some ridiculous price? You, yeah, you still can, but like, I, I am a non-subscription person, which is why I was even asking. Yeah, let me go look and see what they have now. Um, so if you want to buy like Photoshop on its own, hmm. Where the hell is it? Um, let me see. Oh, you wow. can you really not do it anymore? You may not be able to then. That is the one thing I am. I know you're a shill, but that is the one thing I'm not happy with Microsoft for is making everything subscription. Yeah, but we talked about that a while back. Like you, like the the value that you get out of. I don't find that to be true. I I find value in being able to pay one upfront price. I mean, you can still do that. And you just told me I couldn't. For Photoshop. Right. You That's said, what I said you said Microsoft. Microsoft doesn't make Photoshop. Adobe makes Photoshop. Oh, okay. Adobe Creative Cloud. Yeah. yeah that's fair. Sorry. Brian. No, that's okay. That's okay. They're I was all like, the we same company. They're not, but they're all the same company in my head sometimes. Well. So, no, I can't blame Microsoft for that one. I'm sorry. That's right. I'll just go yeah, blame Adobe Microsoft. for it. God I'll damn go it. blame Adobe for it. I don't like Adobe doing it either. Like, I don't like anyone going fucking subscription only. If you want to have a subscription option, cool. I mean, I, I, I like having the subscription because then I know that I'm always going to have the latest and greatest stuff. So, like, when new features come out, I don't have to worry about dropping, like, another $400 on it again. Because I'm paying for it already. Like, I'm, I'm doing that... You know, I'm I'm essentially financing the outright price and getting more stuff for it, I feel like. Sure, but I'm not always a latest and greatest all the time person. I tend to be that person who 
buys the really good thing and then stretches it past its normal lifespan like cell phones anecdotally they're supposed to last two years or something i know that i'm i'm just using numbers for the example but sure. i think anecdotally they're supposed to last like two years ba basically yeah i'm i'm the type who will buy a newer nice one and stretch it for three or four or five years i don't i don't find value in the newest iphone plans that some places have where you can pay something monthly and always have the new iphone i would rather pay once stretch it for a bit maybe not always have the you know newest nicest greatest but i still only had to pay up front once sure you and have... subscription doesn't work for me in that regard because then I'm overpaying if I if I stretch it if I would stretch it and I'm not using the features of the newest and greatest latest thing. Sure, but on the flip side of that, you've got to remember things like especially like the Adobe Creative Suite. You know, unless you're a student, these are not these are not things that these are not meant for personal use. These are things that are meant for professionals typically or students but students intending to become professionals with these tools and I mean, there's Photoshop's a lot used in a lot of things it is but, but there are plenty of tools that can do what photoshop does most of it for commercial you're not for commercial use sorry but for personal use yes there's a ton of stuff that it like gimp is a big example of that most most Paint things net. an individual would new would need yeah that it gets you don't actually need photoshop for it it's just a lot of people go to school schools use photoshop that's what they're comfortable with therefore they mm, that's the industry the standard for, for, for it for, 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 yeah sure but that i i still don't think that that changes there being value in it being viable well but uh, that's that that's me and that's a hill i'll I'll, I'll, I'll die mad on, like, it, not at anyone, but that's just me and my no, sh work. Sure. No, me. As an educator, Allie, yes, you absolutely, you can, you get the, you get the educator pricing for that. You absolutely do. Um, and if you're doing stuff primarily, if you can, you know, cause I know you would do stuff for your students primarily for, for like designing stuff for classroom use. You can absolutely get it for that. Um, uh, but my point, the point that I was trying to make was that a lot of this stuff for like the subscription based stuff for professionals, because there's so much collaboration that happens between creative professionals, having everyone on the same version because everyone's, you know, like it's a business expense and people having like the monthly option to pay for it makes a lot of sense for, from a business perspective. Um, and having everyone on the same version is that's a nightmare that has happened. Like that's, that's a thing that in the past having, not having everyone on the same version has been like just terrible because it's like, well, you need to save this with compatibility. You need to, you know, you lose this kind of feature and you might have like these kind of problems opening it. Like look at things like word. Like the difference between um, like different versions of Word can be night and day. It's not so bad anymore. Zach, you're talking to someone who only had a word processor at their house when people had computers and Word and couldn't submit files to my teachers in high school because I didn't have a computer. I totally get it. And I'm totally cool with subscription being an option. My objection is that subscription is the only option. No, and I understand that. Thing. I understand that. I mean, and again, like Photoshop is like the the Adobe Creative Suite is not designed for like home and 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 hobbyist users. It's designed for professional for industry professionals who are using it for business or educational reasons. For for the stuff that that we like if we're just screwing around and stuff, there are tools out there like like Lollipop mentioned like GIMP and there's a host of other stuff. Paint.net has a lot of the same. That doesn't change my point because there's a whole host of businesses out there that do the same thing that I did personally that 
stretch software beyond their things and thus are actually actively seeking to reduce their licenses because they don't want to subscription. In fact, I, I'm very well aware of this. Sure. Because, but there's... so I mean, like, that doesn't change the, the reasoning I have. That can just be professional just as much as it can be personal. Sure. But <laughs> like, it, it kind of it does kind of come back to some of that is the cost of doing business and and tools and and processes have to evolve and change. It's just kind of the way of the world. I I think and and perhaps I'm wrong. I will own this, but I think there's a bit more capitalism to the subscription model than just oh well now everyone's on the same version. I, I'm, I'm not saying there's not. I'm, I never, <laughs> I never, I never, I never denied that. Like, I, I, I get what you're saying, and I can understand the, the upside in certain situations. But unfortunately, I see a bit too much capitalism in the fact that it's the only version, only way to do things. <laughs> I don't think she's buying it. Nope. No, I'm. <laughs> I mean, again, I'm I'm not saying I I never denied the the capitalism part of it. Like, let's let's be real. That's that's a thousand percent that's, true. That's my issue. Is to me the capitalism issue comes into play when it's the only option. I can see the benefits of what you're saying, but those benefits don't go away for the people who want that by having both options in place. Which is why I object. <laughs> but, meh, is yeah. my hill. I will die mad about it, just like I will die mad about touchscreens becoming the thing. I want to be clear that I do not condone software piracy. <laughs> I want that to be very clear. I do not condone using a VPN connection to use BitTorrent clients to download software that you do not legally have a license to use. I just want that to be clear. I just want a physical keyboard on my damn phone again. Yes, oh. please. I will die mad about touch screen. Like I will die mad about touch screens. I'm I'm more mad about touch screens than I am about subscription services. I you know, I I do miss physical keyboards. Um I'm, there was a Windows phone that had a great one. Dell made one years ago that had just a fantastic, um, uh, like slide up keyboard, and it was a it was a portrait slide up, and I like it was it was great. The keyboard on it was just fantastic. I had a I had a rumor touch before this one made me upgrade to a fucking smartphone, and I I regret every bit of it. The second generation of droids was like it had such a good like they, that's when they really started hitting their stride with physical keyboards at that point. And then they were just like, yeah, no, we're not going to do this anymore. And I was like, you sons of bitches. Stop it. Yeah. Put it back. Come on. Oh, there's never going to be a keyboard on the iPhone. Nick, you know that. You know that. No, there will be at some point, but they're going to sell it to you as a separate attachment for like 300 bucks. No, they'll just make it so that if you buy a separate attachment, you can dock your iPhone to your iMac laptop book thing. We can tell I don't have Mac products because I don't know what they're fucking called and use the keyboard there. I mean, you can you can Bluetooth the Magic Keyboard to your iPhone now, so you can use Bluetooth. Right, keyboards. but I can see them. I can see them coming up with something that is actually like docks around the iPhone or something like that to give it a slider keyboard, and them and them charging a fuck ton of money for it. Yeah, maybe. I don't think that's their style. Like, they'll find they'll find other ways to charge you. A fuck ton of money. It's not sleek enough. Keyboards aren't sleek enough. I don't honestly see them going the keyboard route. No. I would rather the keyboard, and I don't know why we care so much about things being sleek, because it's not like 100% of people damn near put their phones in a giant bulky-ass case anyway, because they're too expensive to break. 
That's the thing that I, I like. Give me, give me a shitty plastic feeling phone that that lasts forever. Give me, dude. Give uh, me a fucking the, Nokia was it, brick. Was it the Nokia Bumblebee phones? Oh yeah. I I wish I had ever had one of those because those things were fucking tanks. Nokia and anything could were indestructible. Have stood through like my inability to not break things. I miss the bricks. Even like the Nokia Windows phones were fucking indestructible. Like, I didn't get into the Windows phones because Windows and I aren't, aren't aren't friends like you and Windows are. Well, um, and as they are relics that archaeologists are still uh, digging up, and they're still fully functional and working to this day. <laughs> kind of like the original Game Boys. Sabrina found her Game Boy Color today. She was cleaning out the uh, her craft room, our guest room, and she found her fucking she found her her Game Boy Color in there. A thirty three. We had my rumor yeah. touch for several years because I kept threatening Chris that I was going to go back to my rumor touch over my my smartphone. Allie, that that those fucking Nokia's, those Windows phones. Like the 900 and 920 series, those things were indestructible. What? Oh yeah, I was. So we were talking about like old stuff that lasts forever, and I was saying how you found your Game Boy Color today. The Game Boys last longer than the games, at least the ones with batteries in them. Oh God! Can I show everybody? So. Y'all know how there's that app that you can get that, that turns you into a Disney character? Sabrina downloaded it. And she... Here. It's... it's. I know the brightness is a little weird, but... You married a Disney princess. Oh, yeah. I, I thought... I, I'm pretty sure we were clear on that. I'm just oh, she said I married a Disney sure princess. Elon clear. did on that yeah duh i mean she basically is like <laughs> she's is disney princess queen bean yes that's what ali says ali beth oh that one's good too that one's actually really good here's another one there we go yeah i gotta say this is really Aww. keeping with like the hot girl shit theme that we've had going tonight right did you not see what the thing said I changed it because Viv asked me to. He's like, he's like you on Monday. He's like, you have to make your your what the fuck I'm doing thing say hot girl shit. So I put hot girl shit for him, which actually has worked out because we started the stream like we after I did it, we started talking about Sailor Moon, and now I'm playing Metro, Super Metroid. So it's all been and showing off pictures of and showing of, off and showing of off pictures being. of you. Yeah. Yes, I I need the other Disney have princess. You? Of Alibeth to to Disneyfy. The thirty three ten ten is now five G dual sim capable. Yeah, they started manufacturing some of those older phones again, um, especially in like in some of the smaller and like emerging markets. I think is what they call them. Basically, the the markets where you know people don't have as much money. Um, but yeah, it's ridiculous. Let's see. Um, Nvidia better be careful. In a couple of years, we might have a hard time realizing whether or not we're talking about a Nokia phone or a video card. I know, right? It's all the same, right? A free phone with service. There it is. Joop. Joop. Standby time, 31 days. Yep. Isn't there another thing in here? You're a thing in there.
there's this trick that you can do in Super Metroid with the bombs that I never got really good at. But, like, if you time it right, you can, like, basically, like, bomb yourself up a wall. Like that. And it's pretty neat. But I've, I've only been able to ever do it, like, a couple of jumps. Oh, yeah, the, the single wall jump, too. Yeah, that one's good, too. Fuck you, space pirate bitch. Fuck out of here, you space pirate bitch. Yeah, the single wall jump. Bitch. Bitch. Pirate mommy won't like you talking to pirates that way. They're No, they're these are bad pirates. These are not good pirates. These are not like the kind of pirates that you find down in Limsa. Limsa Lominsa. Yeah, you can blame Tom for that one. Tom was the one that... That... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Did, did Lollipop see your message? I don't know. Ask Lollipop. I might have. I did. I haven't looked at it yet, but I have... I saw that I got one. I'm, I'm doing a thing at the moment. Oh, hey, there's an energy tank up there. I know. I can't get it, though. Use the boost to chase. Do a barrel roll. Ah. <sighs> I know, I know. Let me let me go out and come back in again. Hey, stop that. We got some QA to tomorrow to do tomorrow, buddy. Yeah, I know. Well, I got some QA to do tomorrow. Damn it! I have a bunch of find and replace to do. Damn it! Oh! Okay. I'm gonna die trying to get this fucking energy tank. You sacrificed. I gave all for an energy tank. Not a demon hunter. Might as well be. Get your house ready. Oh yeah. Wait, when's your mom? Is your mom coming over tomorrow? Hallie, pup. Is. Oh, ow. <laughs> Come on. Ah. Oh. Oh. <sighs> F's in chat for me fucking around and trying to get an energy tank. Pour one out. <laughs> that's fair. Yep, that's I I kind of earned that one. Oh well. It's fine. It works. It's about that time anyway. It is. It is. It is kind of about that time. So you know what? Let's just let's just go ahead and call it here anyway, because I tried. You tried so hard. Yeah. Well, sort of. I mean, kind of. Oh, <laughs> Sun Defron sent me a screenshot. He's playing. He's playing the randomizer. He sent me a screenshot of it. That's funny. Ah, uh, absolutely. I'm. I. I love doing this kind of stuff. I love kind of screwing around and just chilling out. Uh, 
since we didn't have a real topic tonight. I guess tonight's topic was hot girl shit, right? Does that count? Is that a thing? Mm. Is that a... I don't know. It counts. Um, we're gonna do we're gonna do alien shit on Friday because fork knife is all alieny now. Um, it's been good though. It's I'm I'm enjoying it. Oh yeah, the Golden Girls. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we we talk about the Golden Girls a lot. That's a thing we do. Um, I'm still okay. So I'm gonna keep mentioning it until I'm probably dead from it. But. Um, the fancy new bar up there. I want that bar to get all the way up to the green. I want that green all the way at the end. Because I want to give away one of those Xbox Game Pass Ultimate three-month subscriptions. Three months. There's like fucking almost 500 games on Game Pass now between console and PC. And Ultimate gets you all of it. So, um, you know, if you know anybody who's not following, spread the good word so that we can get more folks in here and to hang out because... I love this stuff. This is uh, this is my this is my favorite show of the week because it's just it's just so relaxy and we just get to bullshit and you never know where the night's gonna take us. Um, do y'all like the format of like just watching me play some some old shit while we just bullshit if if we don't have a topic? Is that you enjoy that? I with that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Disney Alley. All the adorable Disney's. Disney, Disney Alley Beth is in the Discord. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. That's, that's, that's really good. Which, honestly, it doesn't really look very different from you in real life. So, yeah. It makes Hashtag sense. Disney princess. It's true. Hey, if you're not in the Discord, get in the Discord. Come hang out with us. You can see stuff like Allie Beth's really adorable Disney princess pictures, or the cool trains that Nick posted. That, that, yeah, or Allie Pup getting or in Allie Pup getting too. in on this action too. Um, you can go see all of the adorable critters, especially the ones from today. Today was an amazing critters day. It was so good. Uh, it was fantastic. I, I, yeah, I love y'all like so much. It's this is just the best. Um, let's see. I don't have an exclamation point links. Um, I got exclamation point discord and I got exclamation point social, which there's the social that just popped up. Um, so we got that. There's merch. There's merch. Um, go ocean spray. All right. So let's go see you. Who are we going to go see tonight? Who haven't we gone to see in a while? Let's see. There's Fire. Oceanity's streaming. Oh, wait. Is she doing Wind Waker? She's doing Wind Waker. We might have to... Mm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. Um, actually, let's do, uh, NS, I appreciate, I appreciate the thought, but we're gonna, I'm gonna send you those points back since we're, we're about to head out, bud. Uh, let's go see Muggle Mama. We haven't seen her in a little while, I think. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, what is she doing? She's playing the Diablos. Yeah. Alright, let's go see Muggle Mama. We'll go, we'll get the raid queued up for that. And then, yeah, I think that'll be good. Um, so there's the raid message. If you want to use it, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Y'all know the spiel. Um, <sighs> love your faces. I will see you on Friday night for Fork Knife, co-streaming with Miss Alley Pup. Um, and that's about it. Did I miss anything? Are we good? Like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Uh, all that other stuff. Other things. All Expert that needs stuff. It for everyday hustling. <gasps> NS, thanks for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you. All right, let's go. Let's go see Miss Muggle Mama. Be good to her. Um, give her lots of love, and we'll see you Friday night. Y'all take care. Bye. Beans.
Dance.